welcome to Viewpoint. My name is Volodymyr Solhub, and right now I'm joined by Ukrainian writer, journalist, and singer, Ms. Irena Karpa. Ms. Karpa, welcome to Viewpoint. Hello. Ms. Karpa, so according to Wikipedia, you are a writer, journalist, and singer, but what Wikipedia still doesn't know is that you are soon to become a diplomat as well. Uh, there are reports that um, you will be appointed as first secretary for cultural affairs at the Ukraine embassy in France. That's correct, uh, yes. Are these reports correct? Yes, this is still like, like not a done deal, but I'm in the process and I have a very long list of things to do and a huge amount of people ready to help to represent Ukraine in a correct way as a European country, which has lots in common, like in Europe, with Europe, not just agricultural thing or not just a country uh, with the war at the moment. Ukraine is much more than this war, and this is my goal to show. So, Ms. Karpa, can you tell us how do you plan to promote Ukraine, the culture of Ukraine in France? Um, the thing is, like, if you see how all these cultural centers function all over the world, uh, for example, French cultural center in here, Institut Français d'Ukraine, uh, they are here to show Ukrainians something about uh, French culture. They represent musicians, movies, uh, writers, geographists, and many more uh, things and people. So, yeah, but this, this, is, this is for those people yes, who are interested in French exactly. culture, in French language. And a lot of people are starting French language in that center. Uh, do you think there will be a lot of people interested in studying Ukrainian. I believe so. And there is also one trick that we can introduce uh, the courses of Russian language, since this is the language spoken here. And as far as I'm concerned, lots of people in Paris refuse to go to Pushkin Center just because of this war situation, but they still want to learn Russian. So why not? We can make such a trick, you know. So I, I'm all for it to give people courses in all languages spoken in Ukraine. So far, it's pretty possible with Ukrainian and Russian, of course. So that would be another way to promote Ukraine. And this is a commercial, commercially wise idea. But the main idea is to show French audience that to Ukraine is strong, is contemporary. We have um, lots of unique authors, painters, writers. I just came back myself from this literature tournée. Um, there is a big interest towards Ukraine. Of course, it's uh, mostly marked by political questions, uh, by like what's going on with the war, what's going on with society after the Maidan. And the main thing is like, please show us Ukraine so we all understand what's going on in Ukraine. Because everybody's pretty clear about things, how they happen in Russia. But we must really uh, put an effort into um, good promoting of our country. And you said that... Uh, well, like the French Culture Center here in, in Ukraine, which brings musicians, poets, all the cultural representatives, you're planning to do the same. Uh, where do you expect to get the funding? You, you, Ukrainian budget is, is, is it empty. Yes, it is, but uh, there are many ways. Like there is like crowdfunding. There are enterprises which are, which have interest, like commercial interest in France. Uh, there are lots of uh, like um, societies uh, of uh, Ukrainians abroad. So uh, we can do it. You know, like there there are ways. There is a will. There is a way. And plus, there are things with, which you can do without such a huge budget. We'll see how it happens. So far, like I think the main principle should be synergy. So we we need to collect to put together to bring together all the people who want to make change so like really this culture functions not just for a diaspora okay so we gathered here blah blah like with in Chirvona Ruta and other songs for ourselves we eat Varenike and we go home no I know Ukrainian diaspora there they are very pretty progressive people who want to do something in the academical world in in the world of art so this fun the center should function as a center um, Ukrainian state together with diaspora should function for French audience to, to show to show that Ukraine exists because culture is actually a national security question in my opinion. Yeah, Ms. Karpa, being the, in charge of the cultural affairs at the Ukrainian embassy is also doing diplomatic work. Um, I, I don't think you have too much of a diplomatic experience. Do you think you are prepared to take up on this important and challenging ch task? Because being a diplomat of Ukraine at this point in the country like France 
is a big responsibility. I understand pretty much the responsibility and I will gain this experience. I think uh, this is a possible thing to do. And main thing, again, there is a will, there is a way. I'm all for it. I love Ukraine and I'm interested in Ukraine not to be forgotten. This is the very very right moment for Ukraine to promote itself, you know. So first of all, I will deal with culture. I'm pretty familiar with these things, with culture trigger. I, I did lots of things in, in this field before. And I understand this is the very touchy subject too. So we have a pretty big enemy and uh, like, of course, the countries who are our partners, but they still um, need to take Russia into consideration. So this is again one obstacle in promoting Ukraine in a good way. But yeah, but still what, what about diplomacy? How difficult for you will be to to, to I don't know how difficult for me it will be. We'll see. We'll see in the future how it's going to be. But I, I think I will deal with that. Mm -hmm. Miss um, Karpa, um, your photo shoot for for Playboy back in 2007. Um, do you think this will be some sort of a advantage or this is something you would rather uh, not discuss when being on a diplomatic job? I don't have any subjects uh, which are taboo for me. We do not live in Sharia country, we live in like countries, so this is not a religious uh, dictatorship here. So whatever happened, it happened already. I have nothing to hide. Uh, this is the good point about my biography, that everything was shown. And I think much worse things when you were stealing, when you were corrupted, when you were um, engaged in some other crimes, you know. So it's better be an um, open person in that case. So, But I'm pretty ready to that, like, again, from our neighbor and friend, we will have lots of provocation. Yeah, exactly. Concerning that's that's, that, that's yes. what, what my point is. Yes. Um, do you think that this, this, this photo should might be used by the other side, let's, uh, other party, let's, let's call it that way, um, against you? You will be how having can, a diplomatic yeah, how job. Can, how can it be used against me? I don't really understand. This is, I'm not hiding. Well, you just know. you just yourself said yes. that there might be a lot of provocations. Yeah, yeah this w that will be a provocation, but I, I'm used to provocations, so I, I know pretty much how to deal with them. Understood. Yeah. And Ms. Karpa, you had some sort of a tense uh, relations with the Russia-backed militants. Um, last year, you released a series of um, satirical cartoons yes. uh, where you were mocking uh, both the Russia-backed militants, their their leaders, and also the people who support um, those 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 leaders and those leaders. And um, this this tension it went all the way up uh, to um, the fact that the um, self-proclaimed minister of culture mm -hmm. of the uh, so-called Luhansk People's Republic demanded. It, that you be shot yes, for one firing of firing squad. This, is, this <laughs> sounds so great in English. For one of the, <laughs> yeah. for one of the cartoons. cartoons. So yes. how did it end up? Um, uh, and did you, you receive any see, other? I'm alive, you of know? course, <laughs> so. uh, you're, you're uh, so yeah. live in one piece. We're happy to see yeah. that. But um, did you receive any any threats? Any credible threats? So tell tell us more. But well, of course, like every time we released another part of the cartoon, it was uh, another series of threats of discussing the way of how they will. Uh, kill me or like torture me or whatever but I, I don't really take those things anonymous internet things seriously especially in the, when in the meanwhile we have such real things happened I mean in the east of Ukraine so I, I have much more serious things to do than to pay attention on those who who have their crazy sick fantasies you know so yes, it's uh, the best way is not to be afraid and not to pay too much importance to your own problems or imaginary problems is to do something. So for um, every normal Ukrainian right now, it's volunteering, I think. So as much as I can, I help those who are in need. So I do not really focus on those uh, gossips and whatever else happens. Yeah, uh, Ms. Karpai, my final mm -hmm. question. Um, the, uh, the, the leaders, the Russia-backed militants, on uh, which which control part of the territory in eastern Ukraine, uh, they um, do not have the regard. They do not have the value for for the modern contemporary art. Um, they uh, the, there was a, a culture center, modern culture center, Zlatia in Donetsk. They destroyed it. They turned yes. it into a, it's, a it's prison. Really, they blew really up sad. one of the installations. Mm -hmm. 
when these territories are freed, and obviously this is happening with either support or, mm -hmm. or silent uh, consent of, of, of the population. So when these territories are free, uh, do you, how, how difficult do you think for Ukraine will be to bring back the modern culture into these territories? Well, I think we should start right now. So I'm going um, at the end of this month together with other artists to these territories, to Artemivsk, Stanitsa, Luhanska. So, you know, we can do little by little, but it's this all the matter of talking to people, of reading them, in my case, contemporary prose or singing. I'm not sure if I, if I will have full band with me because some husbands do not uh, let their wives, for example, my drummer's husband, he doesn't let his wife to go. Uh, but uh, this is the question of a communication always. So they should see we are not monsters, you know, okay, it's probably more difficult with contemporary art because you should have some background to be prepared to accept this kind of art. Uh, but as for music, as for uh, poetry especially, and, and as for talking to like person to person, it can be brought back. So I believe that. I believe in humanistic things to So how did work. your husband react to your trip, to your planned trip to Eastern Ukraine? I did not ask for the permission. <laughs> so this is totally my decision. Yeah, but you surely yeah. discussed it. Uh, well, yes, uh, he said it, it's going to be fine. So he, he paid. Of course, everybody's worrying just a little bit, but uh, there are journalists, there are people who are ready to assist. So this is not like I'm going to fight. I'm going to soldiers who are still there, and I'm going to people, to some local kids who never read Ukrainian books. So I, I really want to see. I understand it's going to be hard on me, especially after you come back from France, from Europe, and you have some, like, it, it's, it's going to be an interesting yeah, well, thing to compare. Going to the war zone, yes. actually. And now you go to the war Absolutely. zone because in Europe we were talking war, you know, and now I will see the war. So I probably will feel I have more right to, to speak about it, to write about it later on and to explain for European audience what's going on, you know, because right now I feel just I'm not, I'm not such an expert. So this yeah, is why. Yeah, you'll have a, a hands-on experience. Well, Miss Carpa, we can exactly. wish you only best of luck in your Thank this you. new project and also your bigger project um, in, in the Ukrainian embassy in France. Uh, many thanks for finding the time to come and talk to us. This has been Volodymyr Salouf of Viewpoint, together with Ukrainian writer, journalist, singer and future diplomat, Mr. Rana Karpa. Thank you for watching us.